Now I'll begin my California CDL Class B bus air brake test. California CDL Class B bus air brake air brake test. Okay, I'm gonna begin with the air compressor governor cut in test. The air compressor governor should cut in at no less than 85 psi. This is the primary gauge. This is the secondary gauge. So I'm gonna step on the brake, service brake. I'm gonna wait till I see the needle rise. And when the needle rise, that's the air compressor governor cut in test. All right, cutting in. My air compressor governor has cut in at 100 psi and it's working properly. And you can tell it's it cut in because it's moving forward. It's moving, it's getting higher. Now I'm gonna perform my air compressor governor cut out test. The air compressor governor should cut out at no more than 130 psi. So you watch the needle. I'm going to step on the accelerator a little bit. When it stops moving, that's the cutout. You might hear the ch. You might hear that noise, but tell them it cuts out when the needle stops moving. The air compressor governor has cut out at 126 psi and it's working properly. Next, I will do the static air brake test. Let me turn off the lights. At this point, when you do your static, you'll, you'll, you won't be uh, releasing the parking brake. So make sure that you chalk the wheels um, if the, the surface is unlevel. So at this point, Leave the vehicle. And make sure you take the key with you. I put the key in your pocket. Don't don't walk off don't walk off the bus without the key. After you chalk the wheels, if necessary. So you're gonna want to turn the key to on. Release the parking brake. Wait till the ga gauge is settled. Okay, within one minute, you should not lose no more than two psi on this static air brake test. So you're gonna watch the, the gauges, watch the primary gauge, and it shouldn't move no no more than two psi. Make sure you have your watch on. Okay, for video sake, let's say a minute has passed. The air compressor, um, actually, um, we know we have not lost any air on this static air brake test and it's working properly. Now next will be the applied, you'll step on the brake pedal, hold it down for one minute and you wait till the gauge is settled and you start now. Within this one minute you should not lose no more than three psi on this applied air brake test. So keep your eye on the watch and keep your eye on the gauges. For sake of time, a minute has passed, and I have lo not lost any air pressure on this applied air brake test, and it's working properly. Next, I will do my low air warning. The low air warning should activate between 55 and 75 psi. You should see a, uh, a light on the dashboard, warning light, and you should hear, um, hear a, an alarm also going off between 55 and 75 psi. So I will step on the brake. My low air warning activated at, um, at 70 psi and it's working properly. Now I will now do my low air warning. I'm not my, not my low air warning. Now I will now do my emergency stopping system. It should, the spring brake should pop out between 20 and 45 psi. The spring brake, brake should pop out between 20 and 45 psi.
my spring brake has popped out at 40 psi and it's working properly now at this point you want to turn off the key take the key with you and untuck the wheels so make sure you go out and untuck the wheels after your emergency stopping system have activated make sure you put the key in your pocket untuck the wheels come back start the bus up Now at this point, at this point you'll be um, you'll be waiting for the air pressure to build up so you can do the test the service brake and the test the parking brake. So right now you can do the in, in cab inspection while you're waiting. So let's start. My seat belt it's not cracked, ripped, or broken or frayed. It buckles. Uh, unbuckles properly. My window, it's not cracked or broken. It, it opens and closes and it seals properly. My mirrors, they're adjusted to me. They're not cracked or broken. They're mounted properly. My windshield, it's not cracked or broken. There's no obstructions in the windshield. There's no illegal stickers. There's no cracks. There's no leaks coming from the seals because the seals are intact. My windshield wipers, they work properly. And the washer, they work properly. My right mirrors, they're adjusted to me. And I cracked or broken. My door, they open and close properly. There's no debris, it's clean and clear. My ID marker lights and indicator is working properly. My headlights and indicator is working properly. My interior lights are working properly. My light up here is working properly. My fans are working properly. My heater, my air defrost, my window defroster working properly uh, my warning lights crossover lights and indicators they're working properly even though I'm not worried about this right now because it's just I'm just doing a um, regular bus my CD horn on uh, my highway horn is working properly my CD horn is working properly my steering wheel so they have no more than two inches of free play. My left turn signal indicator working properly. My right turn signal indicator working properly. My emergency blinkers indicator working properly. My high beam, low beam signal is working properly. My headlight switch indicator is working properly. My parking light switch indicator is working properly. My dashboard is illuminated properly. Yeah, it dims, it's brighter properly. Working properly. My transmission temperature gauge is working properly. My water temperature gauge, my oil pressure is rising properly. Tachometer is working properly. My voltmeter is working properly. My air compressor gauges is working properly. My fuel gauge is working properly. I have my two way radio right there. And that's working properly. My seat is mounted properly. It's not shaking. It's not moving. It's mounted properly. Um, that's everything right now. So next we'll be testing the service brake. So I will release the park. I will put the vehicle in gear. Step on, I'm stepping on the service brake. I'm release the parking brake. Right now I will accelerate to um, five miles per hour, and then I will step on. I will step on the step on the service brake. And, um, the vehicle should not pull to the left it should not pull to the right it should have stopped evenly and smoothly if it pulled to the left or pulled to the right then you, you might have an issue with your brakes out of adjustment now I will test the parking brake um, for this bus I will have to step on the service brake lightly to put the vehicle in gear the bus is in gear right now I will step on the 
accelerator. The bus did not move. I'll take the bus out of gear. And that's the conclusion of my air brake test.